is the look I came up with. It's because of this girl right here. Perry Edwards. She's One Direction's Zane's girlfriend. And she's just had the simplest makeup that I could find to recreate for you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys an easy way to recreate a celebrity's makeup. She hardly has any makeup on, which really made her super easy. And in this video, I'm going to be doing all drugstore items. So if you guys are on a budget or just want to not splurge a lot on makeup i'm going to be showing you guys good products that you can use from the drugstore and you can get them readily available from any store you guys want to get and if you guys hear noise in the background it's either my dogs um or my mom and her novelas you know what old people do but uh if you guys like this look just stay tuned and i'll be right back in the picture i showed you guys it's a really really easy look it's just wearing basically a really subtle uh, crease color liquid liner and then whatever lip color you want to wear this is good for everyday use to the, um i told you guys i'm going to be using our drugstore products so the first thing i'm going to be using is this um essence i love stage primer and i got this at ulta for like three dollars and it's comparable to the urban decay one so if you guys don't want to spend money on the urban decay go for this one because it's a lot cheaper and it works exactly the same Since Perry in the picture really isn't wearing any eyeshadow, but I need something to make my lids stand out a little bit, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Brulee color. It's like a really light color. I'm going to take that color and put it all over my lids, just with the fluffy brush from Real Techniques. The next thing I'm going to use is a Jordana blush in... Sienna and it looks like this We're gonna use this as a crease color and These you could find at Walgreens or wherever they sell Jordana. I bought mine off cherry culture I will leave a link down below if you guys want to go check it out um, These blushes You could use for your crease and I'm just putting it in my crease just to define my eye a little bit more And if you guys don't know where your crease is usually when you put your eye your finger in your eye and you feel the, the bone that's where your crease is gonna start the thing that Perry has in her uh, to her makeup is she has long lashes and lots and liquid liner we're gonna skip the lashes just because it's not really um, adequate for everyday use so we're just gonna put lots of mascara and a little bit of liquid liner not too much and before I start like Telling, doing my liquid liner. I'm using Fabu Liner by Jordana. I'm just using the black one and I'm going to do a really, really thin line. We're going to curl the lashes. Make sure your liner is dry because you don't want to pull what I just pulled. Uh, uh, uh. I'm using the e.l.f. eyelash curler. <sighs> and usually I just hold it there for a couple seconds. For mascara, I do use three mascaras now. I use the Extreme. Lash, best Lash by Jordana, the Telescopic, oops, oops, the Telescopic by L'Oreal in Carbon Black, and then I use the Ulta Plush Drama uh, Mascara, and this one I recently um, started using because I got it for free from Ulta, and I was like, it's probably crap, that's how they gave it me, but no, it's actually really, really good. Oh, shit. My bad. Okay. The first mascara we're gonna go in with is um the Jordana one. Just start priming our face. Uh, we're gonna be using Baby Skin. I already did a review on this. It's okay. It's not that bad. But since I have it, I'm gonna use it. And it's just a clear silicone. 
primer and we're gonna put it all over our face. Perry in the picture has really really dewy skin. I'm gonna take a Revlon photo ready skin finish and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. This is the color Bare Natural. Putting some on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna mix my foundation in with it just so I get a glowy um, finish. I'm gonna take my Revlon Nearly Naked and 160 um, Fresh Beige. We're gonna mix those two colors together just like that and then I'm gonna dot it all over my face like I usually do let me refer to the picture again she does have quite a highlight under the eye so we're gonna be doing that with our NYX HD Concealers. I'm going to be using a little bit of glow and medium just to mix them up to give me a nice glow under my eyes. We're gonna set it. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a little Kabuki and the NYX Set It Don't Fret It uh, Miracle, not Miracle Mineral in medium. For brows, I'm gonna be using the Elf Brow Kit, and you can get this at Target. I'm gonna be using the one in dark. quite dark brows for a blonde. I think she uses brown um, darker colors because she has quite a strong brow which I love. I love strong brows. So Now to set my brows, my little brow furry hair is a little things that don't like to stay down. I'm going to use Maybelline's Great Lash and Clear. This is what I was talking about in my eyebrow tutorial that you could use. do a contour and I'm going to be using my Jordana blush in Co Coco She has more of a brownie. I'm gonna count this as high um, drugstore just because I find it at Walgreens all the time. So we're gonna fix the contour we just made right now. We're just gonna make it a little bit more brown. I'm gonna take an angled brush, dip it in a little bit, and then just brown it out a little bit. Just because I feel like the the Jordana one was too red, we're gonna brown it out a little, a little bit. Now that we have our contour down, which we fixed a little bit because it was too red, we're going to be using a Jordana powder again, but it's a light, kind of peachy pink color in sandalwood. Just like that. Super easy. And then for highlighting, she does look like she's very highlighted. So I went ahead and I'm going to mix two, two e.l.f. highlighters together with my fan brush from Target. And I'm going to mix um, blush gems and moonlight pearl together. And we're going to highlight the sh out of our face.
last mascara we're going to be using is the Carbon Black by L'Oreal. And that one we're just going to put the lash coat on our lashes. Okay, so we're gonna put mascara on the we're gonna put mascara on the bottom lashes as well. And to the top waterline, we're gonna tight line, making it look appear like our lashes look thicker. And I'm using the. Milani Liquify in black. Since Perry has really, really big um, eyes, she has really pretty blue eyes. We're going to be using um, Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Nude. I think this is Nude. Yeah, in Nude, the pencil, and put it on her lower waterline. Just like that, our eyes appear much bigger. Since it does look like she has some highlight in the inner corners of her eyes, we're going to be taking Moonlight Pearl by e.l.f., the highlighter we used on our face, and we're going to be using that as a highlight. Now you guys get to choose whatever color lip you want to do. I have several drugstore options that will look great with this look, which is pretty much any color lipstick you want to use. Okay, so the first lip color we're going to go for, let me wipe my lip balm off, is one of the L'Oreal Extraordinary Colors, the ones I showed you guys uh, I did a first impressions on, and I've been loving them. So we're going to be doing the one in Nude Ballet. So you guys can go for this look. You can also go for this look, which is Maybelline's Pink Pop. You could go for more of a fuchsia one with Maybelline's Fuchsia Flash. You could go for red. You could even use this for Valentine's Day. Just put red lipstick on. And this one is Red Label by Milani. If you want to go more for the picture um, on the, the picture that I showed you guys from Perry, you can use the Revlon Kissable and Shameless Matte Matt Balm. Matte Balm. And it's just like a purple. It's a purple. So this is the look. So if you guys liked the video, remember to share it, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys in the very near future. Very near future. So I will see you guys in the next video.